negative Ghost Rider. You're going to be working on that thing probably next week after they roll it over. And they bought your favorite machine, a 1000. Yeah, I, I seen what they bought. I seen what they bought. I seen what they was driving too. It sounded like the motor was coming through the hood. Yeah. It's uh it's gonna be a good one. Uh, aren't they all good ones? Yeah, but I don't know. I got a feeling about this one. It's gonna be uh extra good. everybody's having a blessed day out there so we are on the way home we're on the highway we're kind of sitting here in traffic and uh, we got a little bit of a backup but today we're gonna try something I had somebody comment on a video a while back they seen the CB radio inside uh, my truck frostbite hauler which is my daily driver and they were like, man, does people even talk on those things anymore? And uh, so, of course, I'm like, heck yeah, man. So, so we're going to try something. We're going to try to get on the radio here and uh, see if we can get anybody to holler back at us. So, let's go. All right, so we got my, my Striker 955 here. Uh, this radio has been turned up by a local guy here in Georgia runs a CB shop off the highway and man does this guy stay busy uh, doing tune-ups and stuff and modifying CB radios you just don't even know um, but he does good stuff his name's derail uh, you can find him on YouTube as well he's got a channel a YouTube channel uh, it's Wolfman CB shop derail and uh, he's a CB genius basically knows everything about CB especially these strikers so uh, we're gonna get on here and uh, see if we can get anybody to holler back at us and see if, see what's going on with the highway here. All right, hopefully we get someone to holler back at us. I got the squelch turned up pretty high so you guys don't have to sit here and listen to all the static. So uh, here we go. And let them know they got some pretty healthy sized women up here. seen my CB radio and my daily driver and was like hey does anybody even get on them things anymore so I figure I get on here and holler out at somebody and see if uh see what's going on you say you on your every once in a while especially when it's a backup everybody gets on there and starts screaming and holler well brother I'm gonna pick up my what myself that's about the only time you get somebody to talk to you 10 and 4 yeah I just keep it here in the uh race car hauler and that's why I got one every time I get on the highway usually if it's backed up or jacked up you guys know before anybody else does I was talking to you a while ago I don't know where you are going north but I'm right here at the 113 it's, it's moving on pretty good now yeah I just got past the split here uh Northbound 85. We coming up here past the mall up here. A little bit of this. Yeah. And we're moving, but um, exactly what mile mark is the rig? Anybody know? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't see any wreck. I'm uh, I'm passing 115 here now, and it's it's moving right along. We're cruising. Tight yellow. We're up behind you. That's me. Not 
drag racing. Yeah, I got a Ram 1500 that uh, we've been messing with for a long time. And we, uh, we just kind of go out and play with it and go racing here and there. Every now and then we'll go out of state to, a, uh, to an event or something like that. Frostbite Ram. Frostbite Ram. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm chop this up and put a little video up just so people know, hey, the CBs do, still work today. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I don't get on mine that much, but Lord, you can put a bunch of money in them just like anything else. This one here, I had a derail up here uh, at the Wolfman CB shop work on this striker. I think he did pretty good on it. That yeah, sounds good. It's Frostbite Ram. Frostbite, like the cold frostbite, and then Ram, like Ram truck. Frostbite Ram. appreciate the holler back and uh we'll see you on the next one y'all take care be safe out there don't let nobody uh, watch these four wheelers don't let them run you off the road now <laughs> we're gonna try not to have a good one but we can catch you out here another day so heck yeah guys there you go we just uh had some good little talks back and forth on the cb radio there so as you see CB radio ain't dead. It's still out there. It's still out there and running. And it's definitely a great tool if you're on the highway a lot or you drive a lot of mileage. Um, man, I definitely say get a CB radio. They're fun and it's like I said, it's a it's a useful tool. Like yeah, guys, if you guys are into CB radio stuff, I'm gonna put down here in the description. I'm gonna tag uh, the link to. Derail, which is a guy that uh, put my CB radio together right here locally in Georgia. Um, I'm pretty sure he ships out CBs. You can buy one from him, and he'll ship it wherever you want. But uh, but yeah, if you're into that kind of stuff, I'll put his uh, I'll put his shop information down here in the description and his YouTube channel. And as always, guys, don't forget hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. And as always, guys, stay safe out there. We'll see you on the next one.